week 14 of the fantasy basketball season, and here's a few centers that looked at on the wire this week. The first guy, Nas Reed, the Minnesota Timberwolves is surprising to me. Reed's out there in 85% of fantasy leagues, and right now, obviously, we don't know when Carl Anthony Towns is coming back. And also Rudy Gober now banged up as well. So on the season for Reed, 10.6 points a game, 4.9 rebounds, 1-3 a game, and 55% from the field. So right here, Nas Reed, the last couple games, he's gone out there and he's getting it going once again. January 11th at Detroit, 8 points, 8 rebounds, 57% from the field. January 13th versus Phoenix, 13 points, 6 boards, 3 assists, 2 steals, a 362% from the field. And January 14th versus Cleveland, 17 points, 7 boards, a 3 a block and 50% from the field. So right now, if you need some scoring, decent rebounding, and about a block a game, Nas Reed's a guy that definitely could go out there and give fantasy owners that. Now, Gobert, he's questionable. Is the news coming out? But still, Nas Reed's a guy would go out there and get the next guy's Kavon Looney of the Golden State Warriors. So Looney was a big pickup last week. And I know he's not going to score the basketball well, but field goal percentage and rebounding is definitely a strength here for Kavon Looney. And Kelp is for sure in those categories. On the season, 6.7 points a game, eight and a half rebounds, 2.8 assists, and 63% from the field. But the last couple weeks here, 8.8 .8 points a game, 13 boards, 2.2 assists, and 66% from the field. So right here, like I said, the rebound and field goal percentage, if you need those categories, Looney will help you for sure. The last few games for him, January 7th versus Orlando, seven points, 12 boards, two assists, the steal at 100% from the field. January 10th, Versus Phoenix, a point, eight rebounds, a steal, 0% from the field. January 13th at the Spurs, 14 points, 10 rebounds, three assists, 85% from the field. And January 15th at the Bulls, nine points, six rebounds, assist, a steal, 100% from the field. So right now, Kevon Looney, like I said, he's going to get going with the rebounding. He's going to get going with the field goal percentage. And like I said, Senna's not a great position this season. And Looney right now, he's out there in tons of fantasy leagues at 58%. The next guy's Isaiah Jackson of the Indiana Pacers. Isaiah Jackson, we know he's had some flashes last season. And now he's getting a little bit of an expanded role with Miles Turner banged up with a back injury. And I know he might be day-to-day, -day, but if he's out a long period of time, Jackson could be a big pickup. And right now he's available as Jackson in 68% of leagues on the season, 7.2 points a game. 4.2 rebounds and assists, 1.5 blocks, 54% from the field. But the last few weeks here for Jackson, 9.8 points a game, 5 rebounds, 3.8 blocks, and 53% from the field. So right now, we know he's banged up with injury on and off over the last couple weeks here. But Jackson now has played the last three out of four ball games. January 6th versus the Blazers, 12 points, a rebound, 2 blocks, 83% from the field. January 11th at the Knicks, 5 points, 2 boards. An assist, two blocks, 50% from the field. January 13th versus the Hawks, 10 points, 10 boards, an assist, seven blocks in that ball game, and 38% from the field. And January 14th versus the Grizzlies, 12 points, seven boards, an assist, a steal, four blocks, 55% from the field. So if you need shot blocking, Jackson's definitely a guy that could give that for fantasy owners. And if he's going to play 20, 25 minutes a game like he has over the last few games, he definitely has great fantasy value. And is an ad this week. The next guy is Daniel Gafford of the Washington Wizards. A Gafford, he's been on the list over the last couple weeks here. I know a couple games he's been struggling a little bit, but he's a guy still getting decent minutes with this Washington team. And a guy that can help own is as well in field goal percentage, shot blocking, and rebounding on the season 7.7 .7 points a game, 4.9 rebounds, 1.1 blocks, 75% from the field. But the last couple weeks here for Gafford, 12.4 points a game. Seven rebounds, two assists in that one, and 75% from the field the last two weeks here. So Gafford right now available in tons of fantasy leagues, still with 66% of leagues. And like I said, rebounding a field goal, he'll definitely help. January 3rd at the Bucks, 11 points, 12 boards, two assists, 57% from the field. January 6th at the Thunder, 15 points, nine boards, two assists, a block for 87% from the field. January 9th versus the Pelicans in that one, 13 points. Four rebounds to assist 83% from the field. Then January 13th versus the Knicks in that one, 6.6 .6 boards, a block and 100% from the field. So right here, like I said, he's a guy that can rebound, field goal percentage and shot blocking, and definitely a guy that should be owned in more leagues in the fifth and final center. I looked at this week here is Marcus Morris 
a little Los Angeles Clippers to Marcus Morris. I know he's a little bit banged up with a calf injury, but a guy still out there in a decent amount of leagues at 51%, having a decent season, 13.3 points a game, 4.8 rebounds, 1.7 assists, 2.1 threes, and 44% from the field. But the last couple weeks here, 12.7 points a game, 3.2 rebounds, one and a half assists, two threes a game, and 42% from the field here for Marcus Morris. So as long as he's playing, He's going to score the basketball. He's going to play his 30, 35 minutes a game. And he's a guy right now going out there and being decent until this calf injury popped up January 8th versus Atlanta. 15 points, six rebounds, two assists, two steals, a block, a three, 37% from the field. January 10th versus Dallas, 12 points, a rebound, three assists, a block, two threes, 47% from the field. And January 13th versus Denver, 16 points, three rebounds, two assists, a three, 50% from the field. So right now, if you need scoring and three-point shooting, as long as he's back on the court soon, Morris is a good ad this week. So that's a few centers I looked at on the wire for week 14 of the fantasy basketball season.